Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to look at in this video is Unify Quality of Service. Now, I get this question a lot. How do I set up quality of service with Unify? How do we, you know, ensure that things are getting the proper bandwidth? Well, let's take a look at this. So with Unify, the only quality of service mechanism that they have as of the filming of this video in general release, uh, and this is being filmed on May 6, 2023, around 7 a.m. Central Time, the only quality of service mechanism available in Unify in general release is Smart Cues. And what is Smart Cue and how do you get to it, right? So you're going to log into your device. This is my UDM Pro that you saw us update to the 3.0.20 release. Um, <clears throat> and this is, uh, I am running an EA version just to be uh, transparent there. Um, but this is the exact same quality of service mechanism that is in the, the 7.3 uh, current release. So... What you do is you go into your settings and then you go to internet and you pull up your WAN. Now, right now, I only have the one WAN. So I'm going to click on this and then down here is this option for smart cues. So if you hover over the little tooltip, it tells you that this prioritizes traffic and reduces delays when the router's bandwidth becomes overloaded. Not recommended for connections faster than 300 megabits per second. So even Unify is telling you they don't recommend this for anything over 300 megabits per second. So if we enable this and we put in our um, 1,000 megabits up and down and apply it, it is going to apply that. Now, what does the smart queue do? What the smart queue is, is a fair queue system. So what it's going to do is it's going to take all of those devices that are trying to get out and it's going to divide the available bandwidth up equally amongst those devices. So it's better than getting poked in the eye with a sharp stick or not having any form of QoS, but it is not necessarily the type of QoS that, QoS that people who do phone system installations and uh, video over IP and things like that are used to. Is that coming in the future? I don't know. But uh, as soon as 7.4.15 is released to GA, there is a couple other features that we're going to take a look at that may help. And they kind of already exist and are renamed and tweaked a little bit. But if you've got any questions about quality of service and how I know that this is the only quality of service that's available. Well, I can tell you because if you SSH into a switch and then do the telnet and then do a show running configuration of the switch, there's no QoS that shows up in the switch. Everything is done at the gateway. Like I said, it's better than not having QoS, but if you're doing voice deployment, if you're doing, um, if you're doing video deployment and things like that, there are other types of QoS. Maybe it'll make its way to Unify, but uh, maybe Ubiquity will tell you to use other gear for that as well. But if you've got questions about this, leave them down in the comments. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and share. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok down below if you'd like to support the channel. We do have affiliate links down below and a Patreon channel. And as always, if you need IT consulting, if you've got a network that needs QoS and this isn't cutting it, reach out at willyhow.com. Click hire us or contact us. You can contact us about all of your IT needs. And if we can't help you, we'll get you to someone who can. That's our promise to you. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.